Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today we're working on a super easy, quick marsh watercolor painting. I go over things step by step. There's no need for a traceable, it's just really simple. I'll show you how I draw it in there, and just washing the color, playing with color, wet on wet. Really simple and easy for a beginner. Anybody can do this. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And also, don't forget to check out, check out my Patreon right there. Um, I have traceables, ad-free videos, and exclusive tutorials on Thursdays um, each week. So um, yeah, check that out. It's a place people can go and support my channel, which I appreciate very much. So without further ado, let's get painting. Okay, so for this fun exercise, um, I'm gonna go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arch 100% cotton cold pressed paper. It's like six by nine. I just taped down with some scotch tape on this piece of cardboard that I have just to hold it down nice and neat. Um, my palette, my paints, I go over them as I use them. Paint brushes, I'll be working with, you know, a flat wash craft brush, like a one inch, a three inch little flat, flat wash brush, and probably my Grumbacker 10 and my Princeton. Uh, I'll probably use my four for the little details. Paper towels as well. Um, to just to make this really simple marsh, so you just take your pencil and you're just going to go across right here, one quarter of the way down, right? You can see that. And then I just did little pencil marks, just like a little mountain here, a little, little tree kind of going here. And then we're just going to do these like wiggle land masses. Just going to go like that and wiggle, come out here. You see that? And another one kind of here. You can just make all these little wiggle masses that you want to make. You don't have to do the same exact one as me. Um, you just kind of play around with making the zigzag landmass. This is not a tutorial that needs a trace tracing. And I'm going to go in again after I trace that and just take my kneaded eraser and remove the tracing line. We want this quick and easy. So I'm going to just wet the whole uh, this whole top half with my craft wash brush, grabbing some water and see I'm getting it pretty damp here. La la la. And we're just going to wash in some sky and some clouds really simply. I'm going to mix up some peacock blue. It's really bright. I might add a little of my Quindacodrome magenta. So it's more of a, kind of in the family of ultramarine. I always like to test uh, my paints on a scrap. It's like I like the color. I might want to add a little more ultramarine, a little more on that. And if that's too dark, it looks a little too dark to me. I want it brighter. I'll just go back in and grab my peacock blue. And again, just add a little bit magenta. If I water it down, yeah, nice and light. So when you water it down, it gets lighter. So I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to put some of that color right up in here. I'm not going to fill the whole sky. See, I'm just kind of wiggling my, my paintbrush. This is the Grumbacker number 10. I'm just going like that. So it's a blue sky kind of day, but not a lot of clouds. I might go back in and just grab some of that peacock just to brighten it up a little more. Just a teeny bit. See, it's a little more turquoisey. See, I just take my little tip of my brush. Oh, that's a little too much. <laughs> a little too bright. So the sky around here is going to be really white. It works great. And at this point, we're going to go in and grab, uh, I have a Prussian blue here. And I'll clean off my brush. And I'll take some my, my cabin yellow deep and make a nice green with that. Can add a little magenta. Just using these three colors today. And Prussian blue again. I'm going to make a deep green. Kind 
less water. Just want to take out that water. Grab that yellow and a little magenta. A little more on the blue side, so okay, I grab some of that blue. So it's like a blue green. There we go. And I'm just gonna go in there and put in some of that beautiful. Go grab some more magenta. I want it not as blue, a little more green. The background. You see, I'm just kind of wiggling my brush. It's creating kind of like these bleeding bleed with the trees because it's wet. I kind of like that. If it's too much, right? It starts to bleed too much because you had already wet that area. You can just clean off your brush, go in and remove some of it. Just like that. If you want to wait till the rest of this dries before you go in, you can do that too. I might wait till the rest of it dries so it doesn't keep bleeding. And also another way you can stop the bleeding is just take a paper towel just go in here and lift up that paint and it will stop. Same thing over here since it's going to be white and you can lift it up. And then just go back in here, get some of that Prussian blue, magenta, and the green. Just going to tap in some darker tones just like that. And then I have the little green tree that I sketched in here. I'm just going to put that in there like that. See, I'm just kind of wiggling my tip of my brush. Doo -doo -doo. Let me zoom in so you can see. Tip, 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 tip. <laughs> and then it's going to put a little line of the dark green going to that. If you want to add a couple more little trees, little fuzzy trees. I might grab a little bit brighter green. You do that. And you can have it go right over in here. The land mass. Just like that. Okay. Now we're gonna have fun. We're gonna make a, like a nice bright green. Not super bright, but Brighter, brighter than what we had. So I have this yellow mixed in with that green that I had. I'll add a teeny bit of the magenta just to tone that green down so it's a yellow green. So I'd like to play around with all the greens that I have mixing in back and forth. I like to take my flat wash brush number, th was it like a three eighth or actually this is a half inch. Just as a crappy little nothing more brush. And I'll go in and take this flat brush and I'm just gonna wash in wet on dry. See, I'm just going across here with this brush. Fill in those wiggle areas that we painted. With this nice bright green. Just like that. While this is still wet, you can go in and add some other kind of color tones to it. You can add, I'm gonna grab some of that peacock blue mixed with the green. It's a little turquoisey. You can put it turquoisey. You can add a little bit, you know, play around with a little color, adding some color. See, put some nice medium greens. I'm just taking the brush going sideways like this, letting that bleed into that, just like that. All right, we want to clean up our brush. I still want to keep this the ocean part fairly light. I'm going to take that same green, maybe mix a little more blue or something in here. Put a little in here and the other mound that we did.
and the other big one. I'm going to be adding some browns, some yellows. So I mixed a little more of the red magenta into this. So you get this like mossy, dark brown kind of green. You can throw some of that in the bottom here. I love mixing all the two. Once you have the three colors and you start mixing the greens, just start playing around with adding in some magenta with the yellow, with the blue. Don't be afraid to keep playing around. See, I'm just going in here and playing around with that color. I really kind of wanted that lighter, so I could just go in and grab some yellow and go right on top of that. Just go in here and play around. All right, I'm going to take some magenta that I have here, mix it in with these greens next to the yellow, and we get like a nice brown tone. Yeah, a little bit darker. I'll add some Prussian blue and magenta and the yellow. So I get like this deeper brown. And then I can just kind of throw that in a little bit here and there. That kind of bled like this way. We don't want to really want to do that. I'm gonna put some darker that dark brown down here and over in here. right over in here kind of want the dark area underneath this part of the marsh go and grab some Prussian blue mix with some magenta and that brown so it looks kind of almost like black but it's not see how I'm kind of just doing on this bottom edge it's kind of like the dark part of the marsh And it's always in a kind of a blue tone, so see I'm just picking this brush going sideways. I'm holding it like this, up and down the street. I'm getting that dark kind of marsh. Let me hold it that way. Let me zoom in back up. So how we're not really painting much of this area, so it looks very like the sun is on it. Um, we can take the same brush. Playing around with gonna get that brown again. If you want to cheat, grab some of the orange, or just grab a brown, a burnt sienna, a brown, whatever you have. I'm I'm not gonna hold it against you. <laughs> See, I'm mixing up this brown, yellow, red, orange. Trying to get this brown. Here we go. Less water. You can make some nice, simple grasses. See, just holding it on the side. Boop, boop. Many ways you can hold the brushes like this. Do a few like this. Grab some of that blue black. Starting to look like a marsh, right? Okay. Let's clean up my brush. I want to make like a tan kind of, you can see some of the sand on this one. So I'm going to just make it lighter. Get this nice light brown. And I'll just put a lot of water in it. I always end up tapping it on my paper towel. And then I'll go just kind of put that in here. Like it's almost like it's low tide. And you see some of the sand in between where the water is in the marsh. The blue bleeds, that's fine. I'm grabbing, see I'm just grabbing some water. You can hear me clink, clink, clink. Going back in and grabbing some water. There, so that's nice tan color. You wanna grab a little Prussian blue so it starts to look a little more gray. See, I'm just grabbing a little blue, teeny bit, 
pushing it around in that color. We're just adding more elements to this marsh. This is a really simple marsh. And now I'm going to add some blue. I'll clean up this little mess here that we created. I want that bright blue, so I want that peacock in there. It's mixed in with a little green. I can add a little brown to that. It's bright, but it's not super bright when you add the little brown to it. So, again with this little flat brush, I'm just going to kind of wash in. So I put in a little bit of color here and here, here. I'm going to clean up my brush and just grab some water and kind of move that paint around a little bit. See that? I don't want it blue everywhere. Just in a couple of areas. I want to keep it mostly white. You can you can just like um, clean up your brush, just put water itself all throughout the white areas. And then just take that same blue and kind of just tap it. Just some parts, not everywhere. See over here I've created a dry brush effect. I don't want the blue everywhere. I want it to feel like the sun is on some of it. And then we're gonna put in a little shadow going down. So I'll take that green, make that lime green again, add the brown. A magenta, a little Prussian blue. I'm trying to get in more of a gray tone. Blue. Here we go. That's a little green way. Okay. And we're just going to take that. Same with this brush. Or if you don't have any control over that, just go back and grab your Grumbacker. Or whatever brush you have that's like a nice round brush. Just add a little bit of this gray. Just like that. This is a pretty simple marsh. See, just going in here. Now at this point, you can do little tweaks, right? You can tweak the green that you had up here and make it more dark, more brown green. Add some bushes, branches, whatever you want to do. Going back to the little trees here. Getting a little bit darker than what I had before. But I want to keep this pretty simple, the rest of it. I don't want to go too crazy. And you can go back in with your blues and add some more blue. But like I said, I don't want you to go overboard. I want to keep it mostly white. And then you can just go add, if you want to take the little brush I have from before, and take those browns that you created. So you get a nice, I have a nice like yellow ochre color here. Go add some red to it, magenta, excuse me. And then a little Prussian blue. Hardly any water. Just playing around until I get the consistency that I like and the color that I like. And then I'll just do the little grasses. And it doesn't even have to be brown. It could be another color. It could be more green too. We can make some green grasses. Just like this. With a small brush you have a little more control than that side brush that I was using. So I'm getting some brown and then we can do some green grasses in here. See? 
depends on how like you want to make it you can make the whole thing have a lot of grasses adding different kinds of greens I'm just gonna kind of just insinuate that it's cut some grasses without having to go crazy painting grasses <laughs> and water this down even with a small brush I'll just go ahead and some bright yellow some green go back up here even with this tiny brush you can still play around with doing that I'm just standing up to see if I like it now I think I want more grass coming up this way and I'll add a little Prussian blue to that it's always good to step back guys step back step away stand up in your chair which I just did so I can see hmm I mean that's like the lone grass but it's kind of cool and add some browns just playing around I might add a few tones of green coming back here just a Give it some variety. Same thing over here. And you know, when you're using different brushes, it automatically creates. I'm gonna go in here with a little teeny brush and make a little teeny grasses on this one. I want you guys to play around. So I have that magenta. I can add the peacock. And we got this nice bluish purple color. to water it down it's a little too much okay and you can just add some of that to your painting or even some of the magenta water that down just little touches of purpley pink colors just over in here you know or in the water just a little touch of it. it just adds a little something you know it doesn't all have to be blues and greens see I'm adding a little bit of this purple just a little bit again you can add a little more blue it's nice to use the big brush and the little brush So now I see I've made some strokes coming this way, going downward. And I'll grab some of this blue and do the same thing here. That's a little bright. I'll tone it down a little bit. And that's that. I mean, really, just playing around, guys. Adding in color. Gosh, and I'll just lift up my tape. Isn't that cute? little marsh for a Wednesday um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section really just play around like make a wiggle landmass fill it in with the green add a little purple a little blue and keep it mostly white and then just blue touches in here and same thing here with the sky I had literally light here and just added some blue up here and then I just add the dark green here so yeah guys have fun this is what it's supposed to be about right fun playing around with wet on wet color you could add little touches in there, reflection, a boat, a bird, whatever you want. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, don't forget to check out my Patreon on Thursdays. I have exclusive tutorials and traceables that go on my YouTube and add free videos. So take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.